All right, so just before I left to Canada, a bunch of people sent me a link to a news article about a pub in Lincolnshire that had just launched a food challenge. Nothing unusual about that, but apparently the reason they added it to the menu is because the owner of the pub is a big fan of the channel, so I thought least I could do is swing by and give it a bash. Also, judging by the picture, it looks reasonably simple, which is a good thing because I've barely eaten anything since I got back from Canada, so this should be a nice way to ease back into things. Let's do it! All right, here we are, the Fox and Hounds in North Highcombe. I think like 50% of the pubs in England are either called the Fox and Hounds or the Red Lion. If I had a pub, I'd have to call it something original. Like, I don't know, the ferret and testicle. <laughs> That'd be a good one. Half an hour is the quickest time. Yeah, an hour and a half. Probably. So we took, took it took to me an, an hour and a half, yeah. ninety minutes. Yeah. Well, it's just like I'm, I'm I'm impressed by the dedication of that. I don't think I could eat for ninety minutes. Like if I if I tried, I don't want to do it. <laughs> My tripod is limp. I need to give it some Blue Zeus tablets. <laughs> that looks like fun. I wonder if that's a prize. Do you win this if you finish? Mrs. B would love that. I read an article that said that you started doing this because somebody had seen my videos. Is that true? The chef, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah you always watch it. So today I'm in a place called North Highcombe at a uh, pub called the Fox and Hounds, and um, I'm taking on their Cathedral Burger Challenge, which is a, a large burger with beef burgers, chicken burgers, bacon, yeah, pulled pork. Pulled pork. Bacon. A lot of meat, let's put it that way, and some onion rings on top, and then some dirty fries, plus some coleslaw. Costs uh, 17 quid, somewhere in that region. And uh, if you finish it, I heard you get free dessert. Is that true? You do, yeah. Nice. You don't have to have it today, though. You can always come back. Oh, I'll, I'll have it today. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> right, so without further ado, it's a baby's food, and this is the Cathedral Burger Challenge. Who's <laughs> gonna? Yeah. I don't really know where to start. I don't even really want to, you know, take it apart because it looks so nice. Oh, ooh, man, these are... That's the heaviest onion ring I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> they are, don't they? Good luck. Thank you. My, ooh, man, it's hot. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> I did like a, a weird little Ric Flair thing there. Anyway, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Sadly, the the Ontario miniseries is now over, but don't worry, won't be long before the next one. I'm already planning. Still, um, once I got back, I took like a week off, barely ate anything. So I'm trying to kind of ease back into things today. It's got chili jam on there. <coughs> Which gives it a little bit of a kick. I could probably get rid of these now. <sighs> Strength is clearly waning. Two weeks of very limited training. That rhymed. Anyway, today we're at a place called the Fox and Hounds in North Highcombe taking on their Cathedral Burger Challenge. I had to do this one because apparently the chef put it on the menu just because he likes the channel. Is that hot? <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Old habits die hard. Back to not letting the food cool down. You doil them. Oh. We got some healthy vegetables in there too. I think I've heard that before somewhere. I think I might have stolen that catchphrase. I'll drop some tomato. Can't leave it there. It's gonna be a bit furry, but it's gotta be eaten. Indeed it does. Anyway, this burger is $16.99. If you finish it inside one sitting, no toilet breaks, you don't get the meal free, but you do get free dessert and a spot on the Wall of Fame, which makes it worthwhile, if you ask me. All right, that's most of the burger done. Onto the dirty fries now. All fries are dirty, if you ask me. <laughs> Ooh, a controversial statement. I could be offending carb lovers the world over. Anyway, at least these had some, uh, some stuff on them, which made them a little more compelling than usual. I think it's like a really thick, creamy cheese sauce, almost like a nacho cheese sauce, with little pieces of bacon in it. It's rich, but it's yummy. Mm. 
This is making the fries more interesting than usual. <coughs> Sorry. Can I possibly get a Diet Coke? Yeah. Thank you. It's more food than it looks like on the pictures. Yeah. I don't know about that. I mean, I showed the article at the beginning. Maybe you could tell me in the comments. I think it's just, it's more the fact that the plate is kind of half plate, half bowl, so it's actually deeper than you really expect. They said that the last person to successfully do this was filming themselves, and it took them 30 minutes. So I'm not sure who that was, but um, you can see why it's deceptively pretty big, this one. Yeah, relax, man. It's not that much food. He's out of shape. Out of shape or long in the tooth, one of the two. <laughs> Almost there, though. Almost. Yeah, just a few more fries to go. And actually, I enjoyed the, the creamy cheese sauce on there with the bacon. That was a nice touch. All right, the chips are done. I, I'm just going to move the glass out of the way. A lot of people get triggered by all the, the goo on the glass. <laughs> I'm going to switch that off if you want to. Been going 14 minutes? That's slow. That's, that's really pretty bad. <laughs> These onion rings, man. I've never felt an onion ring this heavy in my life. If you threw this at somebody, it, it would hurt. I, that, that, that's a bit much. Maybe if it hit him in the eye or something. If it hit him on the, on the arm or something like that, pr probably not. <laughs> Almost there. Almost. A little bit of this cheese sauce. Yeah, I could have used some more of that cheese sauce for the onion rings because I, you know me, I, I like onion rings, which is why I saved them to the end. The, I think because of their size, the taste of these suffered a bit. They were just, I think, just a little too big. I've never in my life seen onion rings that you have to eat with two hands. <laughs> he says and then eats the onion ring with one hand. <laughs> I'm just trying to be hyperbolic. They, they were bigger than average. It's taken almost 20 minutes. Oh my God. Can I blame the jet lag? I'm blaming the jet lag. I don't, <laughs> that's my excuse for this one. But uh, we're almost there now. Just a coleslaw, which was some chunky stuff. Not particularly bad. A little peppery, a little fruity, which uh, which I didn't mind. Uh, and the rest of the food was good. The only thing I didn't enjoy too much was the onion rings and the, the fries that didn't have the cheese sauce on. But uh, other than that, pretty good. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Last mouthful. All right, this is Beard Meats Food, and that was the Cathedral Burger Challenge. You right, mate? How are you? I'm good. I mean, it was harder than I expected. Take time off. I'm rubbish again. <laughs> Could I have a look at your dessert menu? You can indeed. I'm about ready for it now. I'm feeling like a bit of fruit crumble actually. Do you? Yeah. yeah. It's apple and blackberry. I think I get the crumble. Yeah. Would you like ice cream, custard, or cream? Gotta be custard. Custard, okay. This, this sunlight's giving me a nice little tan though. I look kind of almost as orange as Mrs. Beard. <laughs> and I haven't even color graded it yet. <laughs>